Everybody loves a red cup. Happens to be my favorite way to do cracky, especially for seed starting and little plants. Uh, but they can grow pretty big in these guys, so I'm gonna do a really quick video and show you what I do to set these up. Hey yo, I grow that hotness, so y'all can watch this growing journey on my way to be a botanist. I got this garden game on my kid. You should spice it up and grow like bosses. All right. Doing this is really easy. You're gonna need a red cup. It can be any color. You need a plastic cup. All right. You're gonna need a rock wool cube, um, dirt cheap. You can get like 50 of them for 10 bucks, right? And a net cup. This is a three inch net cup. That's important because if you get a two inch, it's gonna sink all the way down to the bottom. Three inch goes into the cup really well, right? And you can see it sits down maybe half an inch from the lid. Um, and that means the bottom of that cup is about right below or right about that line in this particular red cup. So really, you've got your net cup in your red cup. You want to go ahead and put your rock wool in. Just stuff it in there, right? It's not science. Try not to crush it because you want to make sure there's plenty of little air pockets and places for roots to go grow through. But now you have rock wool in a plastic net cup, a red cup. You can set that in there for a minute. You're going to want a Sharpie because you want to be able to write down what you planted. Cross out what was on there last time. Yes, I reuse. I think this time we're going to plant uh, seven pot yellow. So I'm going to do seven pot yellow. Next thing you need is a little bit of water, which I didn't bring to the table. So I'm going to go grab that. I have water. Red cup. I'm going to go ahead and take this out to fill because I know I need to get it up to at least about here, about halfway up, because this rock wool is going to absorb a bunch of this water. So we'll start there. Make a little bit of a mess on the table. It's only got a spout. should be hard to pour, right? Um, sink my net cup, red cup back in there. You probably can't tell on the camera, but um, the water is about that far, maybe a quarter of an inch up into the rock wool. It's starting to soak it up here. Um, so in just a second, I'll grab the camera and give you a top-down view so you can understand what I'm saying here a little bit better. Um, I've also got my seven pot yellow seeds. So I'll pull those open here. And I think one or two of these is probably good to go. So I'm gonna move the camera and give you a closer look at what I'm doing next. All right, so you can see here, um, my net cup nestled down in the red cup. This half is wet, right? So it's getting darker. This half is still kind of dry, so it hasn't gotten quite as dark yet. You can swish it around a little bit if that helps, um, or just wait a few minutes, right? It will all soak up. Um, add a tiny bit more because it's not barely making contact at the bottom now. Go ahead and solve my soaking up problem. Yeah, so now I have everything ready to plant couple of these. I always put a couple in just to see, but those are seven pot yellow. They don't like to be in focus. All right. I've got one little seven pot yellow seed here that's just barely started to sprout a tail there, so it's getting ready to form roots. I'm just going to set it gently into the hole in the rock wool. All right. I'm going to grab one more of these that looks okay. Um, these have only been germinating for like two days, so... I don't expect too much from them as far as having roots going, but this guy looks all right too, so I'll get him put in there. And then I'm going to grab my favorite tool for this job, a toothpick, right? You see they're both kind of sitting on the top? I'm not going to leave them like that. I'm grab a toothpick and slide them in gently. All right, so just going to very carefully put one kind of off to each side. Still, uh... Press against the side of the rock wall here in a second. Like that. And hopefully, one or both of those will sprout. Alright, one last thing I always do is put a little baggie on them. Just a little humidity dome, I guess, right? That'll help keep things nice and moist. Um, but then you're pretty much done for a while. You're going to wait until that sprouts. Um, after it's sprouted, you can take the baggie off. And then you'll want to wait until you see either a couple sets of true leaves or roots poking out the bottom of the net cup. Usually that'll happen before you have too many true leaves. 
um, you can start feeding it hydroponic nutrients. So start quarter strength or half strength, you know, mix it half water, half nutrients, um, well, half blended nutrients, and then gradually increase that as the plant uh, gets stronger and is able to tolerate a higher concentration of nutrients. You'll start to see it grow fast. Um, I have kept plants in these things until they are, you know, four or five inches tall several times. So they work. It's awesome, super inexpensive, and really cost effective. And space is space effective, I guess is what I was looking for there. Um, if you like what you saw here, you know, give the channel a subscribe, click like, and we will be back with more quick tips. Peace.